Hey, what's going on, Aquarius Moon? How are you, Aquarius Moon? Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate y'all's time and y'all's energy and y'all's patience and y'all's love and the light that you guys send. Thank you guys so much for the um, the kind words that you send my way. Like, uh, I, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. It really makes a guy feel good. <laughs> but anyway, Aquarius Moon, we are here for your general moon messages for the month of October. So this will span from the new moon on September 28th through the new moon that will occur on October 27th. All right. And we do have that full moon that does lie in between on October the 13th. So Aquarius Moon, we'll try to guess what part of the reading that full moon is going to be. <laughs> All right. Of course, you guys let me know how everything works out in the comment box below. I really appreciate all of the comments. Um, if the messages don't resonate, then just leave it where it is. Um, but if they do, then they're perfect. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to go ahead and, uh, you know, get, make sure you get more information about readings, about lives, about specials and promotions that I have as well. All right. Here we go. All right, so Aquarius Moon, this will be for you. Now, also, this will be for the uh, Aquarius Suns, um, the Ascending Aquariuses, as well as the uh, Venus Aquarius. So this will be for you as well. You may find messages here, but the intention is set for our Aquarius Moon. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the central messages here. We have the Five of Cups. All right, so right off the bat, Aquarius Moon, you have the Five of Cups. What are we feeling? Are we feeling... Uh, the biggest thing that I feel is regret coming off of this. I feel like there's a shoulda, coulda, woulda type of aspect to this Aquarius Moon. Okay, now whether that's you feeling like that towards a situation or towards a person or a person feeling like that towards you, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll yet to uncover that. But at this moment, all right, uh, this some, there, 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 there's a central energy of some sort of regret or some sort of, like I said, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, I don't feel like it's a missed opportunity. It's just. Maybe it does center around a missed opportunity. Actually, it actually may center around a missed opportunity. But for some of you, it's not where it's a missed opportunity. It's just where it's like, dang, I should have. I should have chose this or I should have chose to do this versus this. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Missed opportunity. Aquarius moon, there was an opportunity for a lot of stability. There was an opportunity for a come up. There was an opportunity for stability. Right here. I think I said that already. Or, or you were in a situation that could have been headed there. Okay. You could have been in a situation that could have been headed there. But now we have this 10 to this 5. So something has changed and it's leaving, it's leaving someone or something in this situation with like the spirit of just, damn, you know? Yeah, the Two of Cups. So yeah, this is definitely about a love situation, Aquarius Moon. This is definitely about a love, a, 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 some sort of love, some sort of partnership. I feel like at you guys at one point were seeing eye to eye. Or maybe you thought you were seeing eye to eye and you were headed towards this Ten of Pentacles with one another. But something has changed with the Five of Cups there. Something is not the same anymore. And it's for the worst. Okay? Because we've got these Two of Cups back here and then we also have this Two of Cups back here. Okay? So this may be about... Aquarius moon, this may be about uh, your spouse or maybe a long time uh, like partner. Okay. Your possible future is the Ten of Wands. 
Hmm. I feel that this, I feel like this was like a turning point. The Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands denotes effort. This Ten of Wands denotes um, responsibility. Okay? We have the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Cups between, uh, excuse me, the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles, but, uh, you know, with the Two of Cups in between. So what I'm feeling here is like, as far as the past leading up to now, the two of you were joint together. The two of you were seeing eye to eye. Um, yes, the relationship, uh, was a lot of hard work. Um, it generated a lot of responsibility to one another, but, um, equally, it was equally as, uh, foundational. It was, it was, it was equally, uh, you know, a lot of support there. All right. But something again, something is different. Now, the Three of Wands, the Three of Wands is there in the belly, the Three of Wands. So, hmm, someone, someone looking, someone looking outward. Now, this is a three. Now, this may indicate some sort of this may indicate some sort of third party situation that some of you may be dealing with, but I don't necessarily feel like it's a third party situation yet. I feel like where someone has their back turned towards you and they're looking outward into the world as in to say, I want more than what I'm getting here. And that's what's different now. Or I want something different than what I'm getting here. So Aquarius Moon, this could be you feeling very, very devastated by that. This also could be them feeling very devastated by maybe possibly you wanting more. Okay. Or wanting different. Because they have a lot. There is an abundance of a certain thing here, but there's something else. In the current environment, we have the Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah. So there's that Four of Cups energy. I knew it was coming because I saw one, two, three, four of Cups here in the upright. And then now we have our Four of Cups here. So now we have a line that goes this way here, which tells me that in the now, from the now to like from the past to how you feel now to what's going on now. Even though you had it all. Or even though someone in this particular situation had it all. There was. There was still a need to, there was still a, uh, someone was still feeling compelled to look outwardly. And so they weren't necessarily happy with what they were, with, with what they had. Oh man, Aquarius moon. I don't know if I said that right. But somebody just isn't really happy in this situation, even though they seemingly have it all. The other person is looking outwardly and it's making the other person feel very like closed off emotionally. You, uh, um, you know, you actually, I feel like this is you. I think that this is you being very closed off emotionally. Okay. And for some of you, it's you being closed off emotionally because you're trying to slowly step away from this whole situation or this is you being closed off emotionally because you've been so hurt by someone else, you know, stepping away from this. Hmm. I almost even feel that there is a 
someone is someone is holding on though someone actually isn't walking away someone is just holding on because maybe they're hoping that this person is just going to just turn around and just notice them there but the other person is just like listen it's just too much work it's too much responsibility The Two of Wands. All right, so Aquarius Moon, here's that choice that you're fearing making, okay? Because at some point, you're just going to have to move on as well. We have this Two of Cups and this Two of Wands on the outside of this Five of Cups. So in the right now, yeah, you're dealing with a situation between you and someone. And you both are on different paths and it's like, fuck, you know? The both of you probably feel just as shitty. Excuse my language. But the both of you probably feel just as shitty and the relationship has taken its place, taken its toll to now to where it's like all you can do is just hope for a better future. I feel like, but I do feel like you are going to close yourself off emotionally though. Like you're going to have a lot to offer, but you are going to close yourself off emotionally because you know, uh, of the responsibility having to be uh, the re uh, because of the work that it takes to keep up this this particular relationship or a relationship in general for you. OK, the star card, Aquarius Moon, is the um, outcome card for you. And I like how we end on the outcome card being very Aquarius energy. OK, Aquarius, Aquarius Moon, this is saying that, listen, your the essence of what you feel is your hopes and dreams okay it is all the things that you have faith in okay and i really feel like you are continuing to have faith in a situation that is really making you feel a sense of loss versus uh, the sense of gain that you should be feeling. Okay. But you're holding out and you're keeping the faith. I think that you're wanting a situation to come around. You may even be getting offers of love from other places, but you're not accepting it because you're looking back at this relationship and what it is going through. So the card under the deck here is the seven of swords. All right. What experience are you here to learn in this relationship here, Aquarius Moon? What experience are you here to gain? I don't take this. I don't see this as a, a, a as a manipulative energy in the Seven of Swords here. I don't see it as a manipulative energy. I do see it as a defensive energy. Actually, here looking at this depiction, I do see it as a defense mechanism that, OK, Aquarius is like, listen, it's like. What am I, what have I learned here? What have I learned here? Or what am I still willing to learn? What am I still willing to put up with for the sake of a learning experience? Because all of your relationships are learning experiences anyways, but what specifically are you needing to learn? What are you relearning, Aquarius? Let's pull some dice. All right. So we've got the number six. We've got... South node. Oh, and and then um, and we've got uh, Leo. Okay, the number six, South node, and Leo. The number six falling here on this line. This is letting me know here that um, this is definitely about um, your, like your relationships with people, um, about the people that are in your life. It even could be about yourself. Okay, um, for some of you, it's like your self worth. For some of you, it's about um, you know the services that you perform here in this life. Okay, so for some of you, this could be about your role here. All right. This could be about your role here that you play with this person in y'all's lifetime. With the South Node energy here, this could be some past life relationship stuff, I'm going to say. Like, this could be some karmic relationship stuff here with the South Node energy. Maybe you are paying some sort of debt that uh, you are repaying some sort of debt that you caused in a previous life. Okay? With that person in a previous life. Or it could be vice versa. They're, you know, whatever, however that works out. For you guys, whatever your south node is, because I don't know what your south node is, your south node may be in Leo, okay? Because the next card is Leo. 
So this is about really doing what you want to do. This is about really um, your yourself. This is really about you um, needing to feel that energy of that lion, feeling that roar in a way. Okay. That Leo energy is there because, you know, you want to be out. You want to be like boisterous, I feel. It's like you want to be confident, but I don't feel like you're really feeling that confidence. I don't really feel like you're feeling that confidence in yourself right now. In fact, I feel like what you feel is like, I can't believe I'm having to learn this lesson again. Okay, Aquarius moon. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle messages. All right, we have card number 38, Earth Element Stability. Yeah, we knew that anyways, right? We recall we that from the beginning. Stability. Um, the moon energy right now is, call, is, is saying that maybe you need to kind of, you know, this new moon that just passed on September 28th, um, leading up to this full moon is definitely about setting your intentions for, for some of you, like reinvention, okay? For some of you, it's a re-identification of self. For some of you, it's a re-identification of what needs to be done to finish out this year, okay? And what you guys may could deal with a lot is a lot more stability. Now, for some of you, that could mean stability in different things. For some of you, it's stability within your relationships. For some of you, it's stability within what it is that you really, really, really want and hope for. For some of you, it is stability within money. I feel like that energy of stability is there for you to grab. It's there for you to grab. Spirit wants you to be able to take a look at how stable you can make things. Okay? So you don't have to... I mean, I see all of the stability right here with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Like, I do feel like there may be, you know, because maybe this middle part here was a little shaky that you know it kind of shook these parts and aspects of yourself as well so yeah do what you have to do to get stable and, and you know what do what you have to do to get stable on this row here what i feel is like with that five of cups and then the two of wands is like maybe it means that you need to choose a new path for yourself so that you can get over something else okay Our animal spirit here is the hawk spirit let spirit be your god that's so crazy because um libra moon also had that same card let hawk spirit be your god okay the hawk sees perfectly the the hawk has perfect aim has so much agility, okay? The heart can see things from great distances, from great heights. And that's what you need, Aquarius Moon. That's what you need anyway. You always need to kind of see things before they, you know, play out, you know? But even if you can't allow spirit to do that for you, spirit is not going to steer you wrong, okay? Spirit is not going to steal you wrong at all. I just feel like you do have a lot of regret for a situation, but it's just karma being repaid either back to you or towards you or to or through you rather. It's not always necessarily a bad thing, though, because it's still, again, teaching you a lesson. But definitely keep the faith. Keep the faith that you can be stable. Keep the faith that you will find stability uh, wherever you are looking for it because, because the energy is there. Let's take a look at signs from spirit. Okay, look. Angel number 999, profound lessons are at hand. 
completion of a cycle is near. What did I, I just said that. I just said that. We knew that a completion of a cycle was near. We knew that because we had all this, all this 10 energy, all this 10 energy. We knew that a completion of a cycle was coming near, but there was a certain turning point, though, with something that changed. Okay. But it's there is there to teach you a lesson. Like even if I look at it at this line here, I see a lesson. I see the Ten of Wands, Five of Cups. So there's been some sort of change of emotion. There's been some sort of change of emotion. Okay. Maybe your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations kind of shifted a little bit. But that's okay. Just because they shift it doesn't mean that things are going to be topsy-turvy for you. Okay? Aquarius moon, don't be anxious about that. Just because something changed, just because someone or something or even you had a change or a difference of emotion, doesn't mean that your hopes and your dreams are just counted out. They just kind of alter. Profound lessons are at hand. I've been saying that. This is about a lesson of stability. Okay? Um, it's okay to still have those hopes and those dreams and those aspirations because you need that to reach towards something. Um, but a lot of you are just more, a lot of you are more stable than you realize. And then a lot of you um, just need to just maybe like do some meditations about stability, about um, about uh, foundation, you know, maybe some of you need to work on like your root chakra a little bit. OK. So Aquarius moon, I think those are the messages that I have for you. Let me know how everything works out in the comment box below. You guys know I do appreciate all of your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. They are everything to me. Thank you guys so much again for all of that love. Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can. Just make sure you hit the email. Uh, I do have a love special going on right now. Um, so take a part of that. Everything will be in the description box below. All right. Aquarius moon. Keep on shuffling. Antoine out.